hello guys welcome back to this platform i want to talk about hearing that still small voice of the holy spirit that whisper i know that we have been so confused about this and a lot of people are asking how do i hear god talk but we do not even listen in the first place to even see how we can hear him it's not all about hearing him like the way you hear me now like audibly you see the holy spirit waits for us he doesn't shout he doesn't scream he doesn't have to if you are inclined in the spirit if you are in tune with his word the more time you spend with a man imagine if you had a friend that you did spend a lot of time with okay you guys are so close you guys do everything together let's say you guys are best friends right sometimes in public places when they want to tell you something or when they want to pass a message to you that they do not want others to hear they don't necessarily have to speak out like audibly but because you two are so close because you two understand each other there are certain signs and certain languages that you use to communicate in certain situations that you just get it like there's a look they can give to you from across the road and you understand what they are saying that is the kind and even deeper is the kind of relationship that you need with the holy spirit to be able to hear him a lot of times it's, it's in that still small voice okay the more you study the more you the more you spend time reading your bible the more you pray the more you speak to him the more the less time you spend with the world the more time you get to spend with the holy spirit then you will have a unique way of communicating with him then when he says move you will understand in your spirit that the lord has just asked me to move then when you are about to do something that doesn't work out instead of getting pissed off you will understand that you know this is how the lord speaks to me maybe he doesn't want me to do this because this is a dangerous act to take then you will understand that he's the one saving you from the attacks that are coming because you would see him walk in a mysterious way other than that it will be nothing but confusion and chaos because you are not you do not spend quality time with the holy spirit you do not spend quality time with the lord so you will not understand that this thing that happened was the lord trying to save you from so and so you will not get that the fact that i didn't go to this place today is the lord telling me that there is something there that isn't for me or this isn't the time to make this move it will be all about oh lord i asked for this and why am i not getting it i asked for that and why am i not getting it i wanted to go here but this thing was frustrated i thought i prayed to you why didn't you let it happen but what if the lord didn't want that to happen for your own good you know i've come a long way with my work with god and i know that i have a long way to go but i've come to the understanding and I've come to the place where I know when the Holy Spirit is moving, okay? Instead of nagging and complaining, I try to listen and I try to see in the Spirit if this is the move that the Holy Spirit wanted me to make in the first place. You will always do what is good for you. You need to listen to that still small voice, that whisper. I'll see you guys next time.